My name is Janet Greeley and I'm the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Human Sciences uh, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Macquarie University this morning and to tell you about this exciting new degree that we're just starting in 2014. What I'd like to do is to tell you first a little bit about the Faculty of Human Sciences, in case you don't know about it, uh, why you might be interested to study the Bachelor of Human Sciences, and what some of the majors and career paths are in this new degree. Now, the Faculty of Human Sciences is quite a, a broad church, as we say. We have uh, seven schools or departments. Um, the Australian School of Advanced Medicine is attached to the faculty, as is the Department of Health Profession Professions, which houses our physiotherapy program at present. Uh, the Department of Psychology, Cognitive Science, Linguistics, Institute of Early Childhood, and the School of Education. So it's quite a, an interesting mix. And um, the way we think about it is that the Faculty of Human Sciences uh, prepares people for careers across the broad areas of health, education, language, and the mind. And many of our degrees are very interdisciplinary. And in particular, <coughs> this new Bachelor of Human Sciences not only uh, includes units from within our faculty, but across the university. Health programs in the human sciences include advanced medicine, advanced surgery, audiology, clinical neuropsychology, clinical psychology, physiotherapy, and speech pathology. Now, all of these programs are postgraduate courses at master's level, and you have to do a bachelor's degree to gain entry to those. And the degree, the Bachelor of Human Sciences, which I'm talking about today, is an entry point for at least two of those programs. Macquarie University has made a very large investment in health and medicine and education over the last five to ten years. Uh, at the present time, we have, uh, we're the only university in Australia with its own hospital, the Macquarie University Hospital, and affiliated with it are our specialist clinics. The Australian School of Advanced Medicine is attached to the hospital, and it, uh, it doesn't train general practitioners, it trains specialists at this point in time. The Australian Hearing Hub, which you may have seen if you came in on the Balaclava Road entrance, is a, a brand new facility, a 20,000 square meter building, which houses um, members of the university, largely from my faculty, uh, alongside uh, industry partners, in, the, in particular in the area of hearing and health. And of course, uh, if you haven't yet seen it, you probably will before you leave today, our wonderful library, which is a state of the art and the envy of many. The Bachelor of Human Sciences is, is a new program of study which we've just introduced uh, and will be starting up for the first time in 2014. It provides a comprehensive education in allied health community services and that's the focus we're going to be taking as we develop more majors uh, over the coming years. It prepares graduates to work in relevant health, community services, uh, uh, well-being and education sectors. Uh, and, its skill, and the skills are those that would be used in community-based care, disability services, counselling, health policy and education. It's a pathway to postgraduate study in physiotherapy and audiology and possibly other therapies as well. But those are two that we actually offer here that you can gain entry through this degree. It's a three-year full-time or equivalent part-time, uh, so that would maybe be six years if you decided to go part-time, uh, uh, degree. Um, the UAC code is listed there if you want to take it down. Uh, and the indicative ATAR, what we think where the entry level will sit, is around an ATAR of 80. So why would you be interested in studying the Bachelor of Human Sciences? Well, it's a very broad, flexible degree. 36 credit points uh, are specified, but that allows you to also take a second major in another area. It's a degree where we think the, the graduates will be people who can make a real difference because it's geared towards people who are interested in working in health and community services, people who want to work with people and assist people through the, the health and community services system. It's part of a very fast growing and increasingly skilled industry. As you know, with the, the National Disability Insurance Scheme coming on, on track, 
irrespective of which government we have, uh, and uh, the Disability Discrimination Act. Uh, there's, there's a lot of work to be done in the area of health uh, and disability. And what we see uh, this degree doing is preparing graduates to work in that complex area and in the jobs of the future, where many people are going to be receiving their health care in the home and in the community. And they're going to need help in assistance in, in deciding what is the best uh, pathway for my son, my daughter, my husband, my mother. Uh, how can I negotiate my way through the complex uh, medical and social services system? And we see this degree as providing those kinds of roles. In addition, it prepares people for working in actual therapy, in the delivery of therapy to people in, in need of such services. Uh, and there's two different strands that you'll see that we're beginning today, and other strands uh, will be coming on track into the future. As I said, uh, you can also choose a second major from any of the majors in other faculties in the university to complement one of the qualifying majors that are available in this degree at the present time. Also, while you're studying in, in this degree, uh, you have, you'll have access to some of those world-class facilities that I talked to you about in, in the early part of my presentation. Um, so, as I said, the degree is a very broad, flexible degree. You don't make a commitment to a specific discipline or career path in the, in the beginning. Uh, you can choose to tailor that by adding other majors or working towards entry to one of our postgraduate allied health degrees that I talked about at the beginning. As I said, you can choose a double major or if you don't want to do a second major, you can choose units from across the university that you think will complement the community services or the human movement major that you choose to do in the Bachelor of Human Sciences. As I said, it's a degree about making a real difference. It gives you skills to help people improve their lives, uh, not just people, but communities and groups. Uh, it's about making a positive difference in some, someone's life, and that can be I incredibly rewarding. Most of the degrees offered in our faculty are about working with people and helping improve people's lives, whether it's education, psychology, um, early childhood, all of those degrees, and, and medicine and allied health, we're all about working with people and making a real difference. The Bachelor of Human Sciences is also in a very fast-growing, increasingly skilled industry. I mentioned the NDIS. Well, employees in community service industries grew by 51% compared with 26% for all other industries. And that trend is uh, uh, predicted to continue into the future. With the aging of the population, which a number of all of us in this room are part of, um, you will see there'll be, there'll be growing need for, for health services and how to better distribute and disseminate those services throughout the community. And this degree is aiming to prepare graduates to work in that field. There's a strong need for people skilled and qualified to meet these challenges, and we think that the Bachelor of Human Sciences is a degree that will place you well to work in, the, in that industry. We can also offer you the opportunity of a second major to complement one of the qualifying majors in the degree. So you can graduate with a double major in, in any of these that are listed, but also others that aren't listed. All you need to do is to go onto the website and take a look at what majors are available through the four faculties of the university, which is, includes arts, science, and business and economics. So I could imagine someone doing a major in the community services major uh, in human sciences and possibly combining that with a business major. So they'd be someone who'd work quite effectively in a not-for-profit organization, having business skills to assist uh, individuals and groups in the community who might be wanting to set up small businesses to support health services or community care. One combination. You might want to combine it with um, pu public policy law and governance if you wanted to take a trajectory down more along an advocacy line and help support people and advocate for services. So there's a whole range of different combinations of skills and, and qualifications that you can put together. Uh, as I said, uh, you will also have access to the world-class facilities here at the university. The Faculty of Human Sciences at Macquarie has been exceptionally fortunate in the last several years to have been the, the beneficiaries uh, of uh, a number of the new facilities that, that have been located on the Ride campus. 
Uh, as you know, there's quite good transport to Macquarie at the present time, uh, and you can come by train, bus, car, whatever you like. Um, it's uh, Australia's, Australia's leading modern university uh, with, uh, as I mentioned, outstanding facilities in library, sports and aquatic. So not just the educational facilities, but also the recreational facilities here on campus are, are really fantastic. Uh, the degree that you'll be entering into, uh, if you choose the human movement major, can lead to the opportunity to be eligible to enter our uh, Doctor of Physiotherapy, which is a new state-of-the-art purpose, which is a, a new state-of-the-art degree, which is in state-of-the-art facilities, uh, at um, just adjacent to the Macquarie University Hospital. And the uh, director and head of the physiotherapy program, Associate Professor Kath Dean, is here in the audience, and she'll be able to answer any of the particular questions about the human mo movement major uh, at the end of the presentation. In addition to the opportunity to gain entry to physiotherapy, uh, you also have the opportunity of uh, gaining entry to the clinical audiology program. And the audiology program is very fortunate to have moved all its teaching and uh, clinical facilities um, into the newly built Australian Hearing Hub. So uh, when I say we've been very fortunate, we have genuinely be, been very fortunate. So all of our allied health programs in human sciences are in really fantastic, modern, brand new facilities. Okay, so the majors and career paths in the Bachelor of Human Sciences. As I said, there's two, human movement or community services. Now, in the degree, there's a, a core set of four units that everybody has to take. And they're in psychology, introduction to psychology one and two, communication in social institutions, and legal, ethical, and policy direction in health. So we're setting everybody up to have a, a, a good background in um, interpersonal communication, understanding individual differences in, in people, uh, and looking at the e uh, legal, ethical, and policy implications of the health system. So all of, all of the graduates will, will uh, have those uh, skills. If you are choosing the community services major, um, you'll also then be focusing on things, depending on what your area of interest is, and there's, there are more options besides these, applied <coughs> child psychology might be an area you're interested in, care and human services, uh, Australian global societies, an introduction to sociology, organizational behavior, which is taking you more down the business side of things, principles of financial literacy, preparing the graduates to be able to work with people to know how to best use the resources that they have available to, th to them to navigate the health system and the social service system. Career options through the community services major would be, as I said, either going on to do for further study in audiology. You can, you can possibly get into audiology through taking the community services major. Uh, you can work in advocacy and welfare, health services, government community sector, non-government aid worker, community-based worker, or social planning and policy are just a number of the areas where you might consider uh, taking up a role having graduated with a community services major in the Bachelor of Human Sciences. Pathway careers, so health and community services, community-based worker, government community worker, non-government aid worker, Bachelor of Community Sciences, Sorry, human sciences with a, a major in community services, three-year degree. Okay. The human movement major. Now, the human movement major is constructed to assist students particularly to gain entry to our physiotherapy program, but also our audiology program. Uh, here you'll see the stu subjects of study are more biologically based. So we're looking at advanced human physiology, anatomical sciences, biopsychology and learning, uh, human movement, um, systems physiology. So it's taking a much more science-based bi biological approach to human sciences. The career options here, you can, as I said, either choose to try and gain entry to the physiotherapy or audiology program or some other health, er health careers, professional careers, or you might choose to work in work health and safety. Uh, health and human services, uh, health research and policy, health promotion, or science education services. So th as, I, as I told you earlier, the uh, Faculty of Human Sciences combines skills from health, 
education, language and mind. So we're pulling together things like psychology, education, health services, communication. Okay. The physiotherapy pathway, as I said, uh, it's three year Bachelor of Human Sciences with a major in human movement. Or you can also gain entry to uh, physiotherapy with other bachelor's degrees. You don't have to do this one, but it is the particular pathway we have put in place for our physiotherapy program. Um, but if you choose not to, this, to do this degree, but another pathway to physiotherapy, you must make sure that you complete the key, er the key learning areas listed over here. Human anatomy, human physiology, uh, psychology and research methods. Those are the core skills you must have to be eligible to apply to our physiotherapy program. Now those are included in our human movement major here at Macquarie, but should you choose to do a different degree uh, and you include, included those subjects, you would still be eligible. Other areas uh, that are also recommended are, are listed in the middle. So biomechanics, exercise phy physiology, motor learning and performance, neuroscience, pathophysiology and pharmacology, okay? Now, as I said, this is an entree to physiotherapy or audiology, but it's not guaranteed, it's, it's not guaranteed. <laughs> these, these are very competitive courses. Uh, if you complete them uh, successfully, you will have completed the uh, eligibility requirements, but you do need to, main, to, to achieve a particular grade point average in your, in your grades throughout the course in order to be able to be uh, to gain entry to physiotherapy or audiology. Okay, okay. Um, the audiology pathway is similar to uh, physiotherapy, either this degree or the Bachelor of Speech and Hearing and Language Sciences. We have another degree that we offer through the faculty. Or also, it's not listed here, but you could do any other degree as long as you uh, achieved a, GP, a grade point average of three out of four uh, and uh, completed some pre prerequisite units and that would gain you entry to the Master of Clinical Audiology. Now, I, don't, I didn't mention before, our Doctor of Physiotherapy is a three-year program, and it's called the Doctor of Physiotherapy, but it's actually an extended master's program, okay? But we have the right to use the term Doctor of Phy Physiotherapy uh, for this degree because it is an extended program. Most graduate entry programs for physiotherapy are two-year masters. And because this is a three-year masters and it adds additional skills, uh, it uh, has the status of Doctor of Physiotherapy. Our clinical audiology program is a two-year program and is as called the Master of Clinical Audiology. Okay. Um, that's pretty much the details of the degree and the two core majors. If you'd like more information, you can ask me some questions now, or you can complete the registration form. If You may have been handed one uh, by one of our representatives earlier on, um, or you can uh, pick one up on the way out. Andrew's in the back of the room if you don't have a, a form at the present time. Also, you can visit our advising booth down in E7B, <coughs> which I think if you go out of this building, it's in that direction. Um, or you can come along to the mini lecture on the Graduate Entry Physiotherapy Program at 1.30, which is actually being held in our hearing hub, um, uh, just on the, as you come in Balaca Balaclava Road. Uh, and there's more information uh, about the Bachelor of Human Sciences on the Macquarie University website.